Hey Jackals, in this video I'll show you how you can fill in outline text in DaVinci Resolve 18 and that it actually looks nice. Now let's get digital. This is what we'll be making, now it doesn't look nice but I'm just showing you all of the elements. So we have a transparent background, we have an outline, we can have a field in color already and then we can have the animation that fills in this color. So to make this effect I'll be doing it in the fusion page and I need the fusion composition. So right click, make a new fusion composition, make it, put it down to the timeline and go into the fusion page. We need a text node so we can display something. Connect it, type something in, change the font, I'll set it to impact because it's a big font and I'll change the size to maximum. Now we need an outline and you can do this in two ways. The easiest one would be to go to the shading tab. This is in DaVinci Resolve so the UI changed a little bit. We have an outline here, you can enable it, change the color to what you want and you would disable the solid fill and then you could use this outline to use it as a mask and fill in the shape. I'll show you how to do it the easy way at the end but for now let's do it this way. One way how you can obtain an outline from any 2D object is to use Edge Detect. In this one we'll want to change the mode to grayscale so that we can change the color of the outline and you can also mess with these settings but we don't have to. Now currently we have a black color inside and if you want to get rid of it one way to do it is to use Delta key here. We'll simply connect it here and if we display it on the left side, in this case we want to change the second color so click on the pipette icon and hold it and go over a black part and in this case I'll go inside the text because I know for a fact that the text is black. So now we have the outline and let's add some color to it. So we'll add a black background and the merge node. We need to connect this one to the foreground because it's the outline and the background to the background. I'll display it on the left and now we have to mask it out and for that I'll use the edge detect. In the merge node nothing much changes so we'll go to the settings and enable multiply by mask. We get what we want but the outline doesn't look as good as it does here so to fix that we'll simply use another merge. This will now go in the back and this will go to the front. And we have what we want and the only thing that we need to change is to make an animation so that it changes from the black to maybe white. And to do that simply we'll use a background. This will be the color that we want. In this case it's white. It should be the same as the outline. Then we need some kind of mask, in this case I'll use rectangle and we need a merge node. So this will go to the back. The background needs to go in the front because we'll actually mask it. The mask affects only the foreground so that is why this has to be in the back. And again we'll use the edge detect as a mask in the background. So now the text is white and when you combine everything the text will be white. The only thing that we need is to adjust the rectangle width and the height. We can also adjust the angle and now we can animate it. So we can animate it from this point. Let's just make it big enough. So now we can make the animation. I'll go to frame 10 with the rectangle selected. I'll keyframe it and then in two seconds over 50 frames, this will go up and the animation is pretty much done. The only thing that we can do is go to the spline, select the displacement in the rectangle node and have this option checked to see only the selected node. We can select both points, press S and adjust the animation. And the only thing that we need to do because we don't see any changes here is to connect this merge to the media out. Now we see the changes and if you don't want to have this black as a background we can simply lower the alpha to make it transparent. 
And now as promised for the easy solution, I'll just copy the text node, go to the shading tab, enable the outline, I'll maybe change the thickness and display it on the right side. I'll change the color to black just so we can see it. Now if you don't want the inside field, you can simply disable it. To change the background, we need a background node. In this case, it will be black so that it's the same as the outline. And we need a merge node. The background will now be the foreground because we want to be able to change it. The text will go in the background and the text will also serve as a mask. Now the text is black because the background is black. So if I change the color, you can see that the text also changes the color. And one thing that we need is some kind of a mask, simply connect it to the background and make the adjustment and make the animation, simple as that. So you can fill in the outline text with as few as four nodes, but what I wanted to show you is that you can use a couple of different nodes like two here and you can apply this whole effect to add it to the elements and adjust the text. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.